Hello, dear friends! In this video, we will show you how to set up a program designed to click ads on Google. Google Walker After purchasing, you will receive a file with the program itself. You will need to unzip the archive. Unzip it. We advise to use virtual servers for software to work properly. After you have finished unpacking, we have already unpacked in advance. Go to the file with the program. And it is necessary to open the software as an administrator. Before you open it, of course, you are asked to enter the license, key and password. We'll enter all it after the purchase. And it is necessary to allow the program to make changes on your device. We recommend to use Windows 10 or higher. This window will open. You start the program. And you get to the main menu. The first line is number of threads. This is the number of threads that will be sent by the program from one proxy. The software supports all types of proxies. You can work with server proxies, residents and mobile proxies. We recommend to use only mobile proxies. One mobile proxy equals one thread. We will use three mobile proxies in this example. That's why we are going to use three threads. The next line is file with keywords. This is the file where you write the keywords for the clicks. We have prepared all files in advance. We will only show you. We've added all the keywords to the file. Next, here, we put the path to this file. The next step is chance of an error when typing the key. We recommend no more than 5%. The following settings. You can click either all the sites that are in the ad for this key, except yours. In this field, you add a folder with sites that should not be clicked. Or you select a file with sites that should be clicked. In our case, we do it this way. We have collected the sites to be clicked in the file. Here is our file. We write the domain name here, then the semicolon, and specify the maximum number of clicks that will be made on the site while the program is working. And we specify the path to the file. The next line is to look up to page. Be sure to put number 1. We do not go further. CAPTCHA If you use a CAPTCHA recognition service, specify its API key. If you do not use it, then in this field, you can write any number. For example, 1. But since we use it, we put our API key. The next line of the menu Visits Types of fingerprints You can use both mobile fingerprints to target cell phones for clicks as well as for computer or mobile plus computer 
We provide you with your fingerprints when you buy a license. We give 50,000 of them when you buy a license. We prepare mobile fingerprints in our example. Here you specify a path to a folder with mobile fingerprints. You specify the path, click, select a folder. Remove the fingerprint after use. Check yes. Next depth of view. Basically, you can put either only the first page or go to the second page. This is up to you. We advise to go to the second page. We leave these parameters unchanged. We do not recommend to specify in the emulation section of the column's values greater than the recommended values. Here we put 30. The maximum scrolling – 10. Next, the chance of a selection of a paragraph – 20. Chance of a double-clicking on a paragraph – also 10. And chance to being added to bookmarks is no more than 5. The next section is dedicated to proxies. Here we choose a type of proxy that we work with. Then you can choose a link to connect to the proxy or a file. Our proxies are saved in a file, so we use a file. Or you can specify them in a custom value. Accordingly, you also leave these parameters unchanged. You can also leave everything unchanged in the timeout section. For more advanced users, we have advanced settings. We do not recommend them for regular users. But if you want to test the capabilities of the program in depth, you can test them. Our software is automatically updated a couple of times a month. You don't have to do anything. If there's a Google update or any new algorithms come out, we'll add to it and take it into account. And the program is automatically updating. You press the OK button and run the program. In our case, the program is already running. And we're going to show you all of the logging that's going on. This is what the whole workflow looks like. Here is the number of open browsers. One browser is one thread. You can open each one and see. How the process of clicking is takes place. The bot enters the browser, types our keyword. Goes to the site you want to click and makes a click. I think it's pretty clear. We'll close this. In the log tab, we see the entire history. The program writes logs. Logging in process. What proxy was used to enter the site? With which keyword? To what site? If there was a click, the program records it. In this format. Took a proxy. Got a fingerprint. Enter by this keyword. And then the program starts looking for sites from our list that have these keywords. If it finds this site, then, accordingly, it writes a notification of success. And in the results, it records all the clicks. 
You can also see here all the queries. If you click here on this button, you can see all the logs. And you can download them for yourself. There's also a tab for the report, where you can see all the history of the clicks. If you want to stop the program, you press the stop button. If you need to restart, you just restart. And the program opens automatically.